hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today is just a simple bun tutorial it's a hairstyle that i did on instagram and a lot of you guys requested a tutorial so here it is so if you're interested in seeing how i got this hairstyle this one right here yep the one that you're looking at right now this simple bun style just keep watching wait i'm sorry i have no idea why i'm out of breath but i feel like i just ran a mile Give me a second so if you're interested in seeing how i got this bun style just keep watching the video oh how dedicated i am i just did that hairstyle i didn't even know what i was doing i didn't know what i was going into last week when i did my hair i just didn't feel like doing wash and go i wanted something quick and easy so i finessed that whole thing i like delivering so much that i wash my hair out just to redo it to show y'all how to do it. You want to make sure your hair is already in twist and wet because we're not combing through our hair or any of that. We want it to lay down nice and flat. For this hairstyle, you're gonna need some water, a leave-in conditioner. I'm using Kinky Curly's Not Today. Some gel, some clips and ponytail holders, an edge brush and a hairbrush. You also need some bobby pins, you'll need a couple of bobby pins. Go through each section of your hair. Take this all loose, you're not combing anything. You actually wanna take a bit more water and spritz your hair. Just spritz your hair down. After you finish rubbing the water through, not done yet, so I'm gonna keep rubbing the water through my hair. After that, you wanna take some leave-in conditioner uh, you want to take some leave-in conditioner and start applying that to your hair. This is where you're gonna lock in the moisture. So I'm just applying this all throughout my hair. I'm pretty much, I'm more so mashing it into my hair. I will not be running my fingers through my hair at all because well, I just lot. Oh, it's such a habit. Now we're just gonna start applying the gel using the same manner of just mashing the product in certain sections you might have to split it in half and add a little gel in between there just a little bit and to keep it stretched out i'm just taking some butterfly clips and just right putting pulling it down applying it down my hair shaft right here and down here so that this side stays flat while I go to the back section. I love this weave-in. It's the best leave-in of all time. It's the best leave-in that I've... <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. So now we're all done with this section. I'm gonna add the butterfly clips to the hair. I think I'm gonna do three on each side this time around. One, two, three. This will be the longest part of you doing your hair. The actual twisting doesn't take long. When I don't leave my hair out, it be, it be flourishing with the moisture. My hair loves protective styles like this. My hair loves bun styles because it allows me to lock in my moisture. It stops breakage and it promotes hair growth. So now we can um, start, we're doing flat twists. Splitting it off, like so. And we're just taking that thing back. We're just taking that thing back. It don't have to be neat. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just taking it back. Repeating the same steps for this next section here. So this is the one that's done. So this is the part I let it stay stretched out while I'm doing that other section. Look at these curls. Ooh. And I'm doing the same process just gonna i want to brush this down just a little bit oh and by the way i didn't i forgot to even mention i my hair was not already parted off so however i did it like this when i split my hair off into four sections when i was in the shower is how my hair is going to be your hair does not have to be parted straight down this is like a lax protective style that you don't have to put too much into so the part is not straight at all because i didn't actually make a part i'm gonna take this part Depending on how smooth this section is, I might redo the other part, but we'll see. 
I actually started watering. You see, it's not, it's not perfect. I don't make it perfect or anything. That part's bad. I think I'm actually gonna redo this part over here because I like this part better. I like that section better than this section. If you don't like the way that something looks, the cool thing is you can always go back and fix it. Now this is all twisted back. I can take both, like so, twisting them back. And now I'm putting it into ponytail. I'm gonna take it back behind here. When you put it in a ponytail, it doesn't have to be super tight because it's going in a bun afterwards. I wrapped it around twice. And there's my ponytail. So now it's like a like ponytail. And I'm gonna use my brush to smooth everything down. I'm not doing my edges yet. I'm just smoothing my hair down a little bit. Cause when I tie it down, it's all gonna smooth. So no worries. I'm just using my brush to smooth down places. And now I'm gonna take this a loose and usually mainly the gel that I already had on my ends may add a little more. Just gonna define these curls. smooth my edges down because this is all about to set under a hooded dryer because I don't want to pin my bun up with my curls and hair still wet. set under a hooded dryer for a little bit and I'll be back very soon to pin my hair up and show you all the finished results of this super quick super easy hairstyle so I'll be back okay we're back so my hair is dried you can tell because they that shrinkage look at that shrinkage look like a little ball now which makes it easier to put in the bun so we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick so I take my hair I like to flip my buns up we're not worried about any hair, any little curls that are hanging out because that's where the bobby pins are gonna come in handy. So the hair has been flipped up. So we'll take our ponytail holder and pull it over our hair. Okay, and now we can adjust the bun. I'm just going to take my bobby pins and put them where I feel like they need to go. See some curls are hanging out. We stretch them out and take it across this section where I have hair sitting there to hold it in place. Some little, some curlies sticking out here. Like I got this one sticking up and then I have these here that are sticking up. So I'm just gonna bring them down a bit. for today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed it and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.